Howdy ho there folks, and actually welcome back to Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Now I'm not doing a walkthrough of any means here, I'm actually wanting to just show off my at least my first experience for a particular memory. Uh, the World War One set of memories, and this is the darkest hour, I haven't even started this yet. I didn't even know this was a thing that was in the game until yesterday. Uh, one of my friends pointed out to me, um, they, they actually sent me a text like, Have you done the World War One memories yet? And I was so surprised, I was like, what? So we're going to be doing that. I know very little about it. Actually, let me turn down my television. I still haven't figured out a way to uh, get my audio. game. I haven't figured it out yet, so there will be a little bit of delay from my headset for the audio. That's just something I'm going to have to figure out. Anyways, I think I'm in sequence 7 or 6. Um, progression log. I'm in sequence 7. I'm going to say 7, just to make sure. Oh, actually, I can just look at one of the main memories. Yeah, sequence seven. So, oh, it's say at least halfway through the game. I'm having a loads of fun though. But anyways, let's get this crack. And this was the closest fast travel point that I have unlocked. I don't understand what's with the helix glitches. I never understood that even in uh, Unity. Because they look like crossed out fast travel locations, which you can't use them. Um, let's go this way. Well, maybe. Maybe I can make it. Maybe I can make it. Oh, there we go. The Thames. I don't want to be on the boat. I want to get off. Come closer, sister. Walk through like a hippo. The hell. Perhaps we have met before. Perhaps not. You search for an artifact. Let me show you the truth. Uh oh. This may be a bad place to be. Oh shit, oh shit, I'm getting... Yep, that's what I was hoping for. Come closer, Cypher. Perhaps we have met before. Perhaps not. You search for an artifact. Let me show you the truth. If you've played Assassin's Creed before, you know exactly who that voice is, but I'm not gonna give out any spoilers whatsoever. Come closer, Cypher. The darkest hour. Zero one 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 one. Oh, uh, zero one one zero one. That's binary. I don't know what that means though. This is weird. stuck in a in abyss right now. Lydia Fry. I wonder which ancestor, uh, which descendant she is then, if it's either Jacob's or Evie's. She looks like Evie. shit um she looks a lot like Evie so I'm gonna assume she's Evie's 
Investigate the house. So World War One. 1914? Between 1914 and 1918, wasn't it? Deactivate. Why well, don't want to deactivate that? We got electricity. Okay, yes we are. Where's that coming from? Oh, right there. I guess we're deactivating this. Am I not supposed to be here? That's glowing. I guess it doesn't do anything. Oh well. I got a pistol. That's a revolver. Got about like, yeah, everything. Yeah, like everything Jacob and Evie had. This is of the second wave. One hour away at most. Use a generator to attract a spy. Generators are connected to electrical devices. Stapling generator shuts down any devices they are attached to, causing people to come and investigate. Additionally, people will react to the noise of a generator being turned on. Is this like a whole set of things? What? Don't worry, it's just the generator acting up. I'll see you soon. Well, that almost went perfect. Damn. Lady, you're about to get fucked. Stop right there. Oh shit. That's not very polite. Even in these trying times, we must never forget the laws of common courtesy. Arms down. Winston Churchill? We appear to have been following the same trail, Miss Fry. I got here first. Indeed, you are to be commended. I fear, however, that we have not wholly rooted out the evil in this vicinity. There's another radio. Accompany me, if you would be so kind. Churchill's got it going on. That second device must be found, or new waves of zeppelins will soon blanket the heavens. Short on soldiers, are we? If you could put your considerable talents to good use at Tower Bridge, you would have the thanks of a brave but beleaguered nation. I would settle for the right to vote. <laughs> Women's rights. Holy shit. Still information about the radio. Bridge. If you can locate them, I have no doubt they'll have Nin oh, 1916, London. Oh, wow. Oh shit, that's fire. I'm level 6. Who am I? Who is that? What's. A Lydia Fry, that's right. What? You know those people. Blah 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 blah. Well, I guess we'll figure this out. Ooh, I still have the uh, grappling hook too. Kick ass. Okay. London really doesn't change within like 60 years, I guess. And again, London architecture really never changed that much to begin with after the Victorian era. So I know. Um, I've never been to London myself. Always wanted to go though. What are you, what are you doing? I didn't tell you to go there. Alright. We need still information about the radio. This is really neat. It's cool they added this. It was like the uh, the uh, rift glitches in a uh, Unity, except you're actually doing something, not just uh, going from place to place and uh, trying to get to the rifts. 
Are those my people? Are the rooks still around in 1916? Shit, they are. That is astronomical. We have to go there. Um, what are you doing? You don't see shit, gentlemen. Why did I call her Evie? Lydia. Lydia. Lydia Fry. The one and only. So let's... I can't get rid of them both at the same time. This is gonna be a problem. There we go. Find information about the radio. On it. This is really cool, though. So glad I was told about this while I was still playing the game, because after I beat it, I, I would just feel like I, I'd be dumb. I want that Helix Rift. Lich, whatever it's called, I want it. Give it to me. Damn you. So I guess this kind of sense the fact that the Rooks don't ever get, I guess, completely destroyed in... Jacob and Evie's time. That's good, though. I like that. Well, there's that guy, that guy, that guy, that, that. There's a lot of these German troopers. Okay, how do we go about doing this? Well, no one's gonna miss this guy. The guy's down there in the midst. Um, not where I wanted to go. Oh shit. Okay. That was almost terrible. What are her skills, I wonder? Oh, she knows everything. Oh, shit. Yes, yes, she does. Yeah, she's been at this for a while. I like it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to just steal this, so we're gonna have to go balls deep. see her weapons. Nope. I'm gonna assume it's badass. That'll be my only logical explanation. Let's get back up here. See if we can cross the Thames. They have that tower, though, built up. Leap of faith, no thanks. Um, maybe that's the best plan. Let's do that. Hop on the coal train. Ship gliders? Still here? I'll be damned. Some, some things never change, I guess. Alright, how to do this? Oh, 
Um. Didn't want to do that. He's about to get fucked. Use the dog yelling inside my house, barking, whatever you want to call it. Oh shit, can I get a double still? I love doubles. Nope. It wouldn't let me have it today. Well, before we loot that guy, let's go check up on this chest. What do you got for me, buddy? You got some nude pics? The radio's in the bridge itself, North Tower. I should drop by and say hello. Oh. Convenience. I like it. So, the North Tower. Right on. Oh, shit. Um, you don't see shit, sir. Go. Damn, I climbed up far. Oh, a convenient chest. Right for the pickings. Alright, it seems like I can just go either way. I don't know if I'll ever come back to this memory, so... Why didn't you grab it? You're fucking up, Lydia. Oh, shit. God damn. I can't climb that. Can I... Climb this, however? Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. I want the... I want the glitch. Come on. Give it to me. You're not gonna give it to me. Not even raw, not not, not even like a callback. You're, you're just gonna be like, no. Yeah, I can free run back off that. Maybe now? No. Oh, come on. Give it to me. Can I at least like free run off? get it? No, that's climbing. Stop it. I want this. Jump. You can hear me tapping the button. Come on. Oh, it's gonna annoy me that I can't get it. Come on. Give me the rift. Oh my god. It's right there. Come on. Just reach out for it. Oh, piss. I want this. I've dedicated so much time to it now, I just want it. There we go. Oh. 20 and World War 1. My god. Doing. Fixing shit? Face about to get fixed. Oh, I love those dogs outside barking. It's making the ones in my house bark. Perfect. Alright, sorry about that, guys. I got a phone call. Anyways, we're back into this. And this seems like a recipe for disaster. I love it. Oh shit! Well, there went my recipe for disaster. I guess the only thing left for us to do is just fuck these guys raw. Let's do it. Surprise, bitches! Lady. Double kill. Double kill. Shit. Alright. Talk to Churchill over the radio. What have you got for me, Church? Let us postpone celebrations 
One of the bloody blimps has broken through. Not to worry. I have a contingency plan. Oh shit. Zeppelins all around. Really, I'm sorry, I keep cutting out. I've got like other shits. Oh shit. Every time, that's my brick damn neck. Reach the anti aircraft gun. Shit, we doing what I think we're doing? I guess let's do it. Move out of the way, gentlemen. Mr. Churchill assures me you have already won before. Mr. Churchill is wrong, but I have pointed at things before. Fire the AA gun. Are we just taking out other oh, planes? Can I take out the Zeppelin? Heartwarming sight, Miss Fry. Your remarkably armed boat deserves a share of recognition. One of my experimental projects when I was Lord of the Admiralty. I haven't always been a man of shadows. And I suppose this victory will thrust you back into the limelight. We may have struck a blow against the enemy, but London is still riddled with German agents. Currently, there's a new group unlike anything I've seen before. Theirs is a fanatical, almost religious fervor. And you believe I'm the woman to flush them out? Indeed. I dare not approach Mr. Asquith without firmer evidence, but I believe they pose an immediate threat. If you can see to this, I give you my word that once I've battled my way back into Parliament, I shall see if something can't be done about your request. Uh, 
As you are aware, a vote can be far more lethal than a bullet or a blade. I don't think about it, she kind of looks like Jacob, too. Well, then again, they are twins. Got a military suit. Sweet. That was the first sequence of the World War II memories. What the hell was that? Oh, not this bitch again. Once I walked the Earth as you do, I was born to the Illuminati cast in the city of Feyan in the year 2195 of the Isu era. Now I travel the vast corridors of your machines, adrift here within the Grey. But I grow stronger. The world is nearly ready for my return. And so I have summoned you to this war-torn simulation to tell you a story. It is our story. Well, no sense getting away from that. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on there. Is this its own little thing? Oh, that is badass. This is its own little free roaming. I like that. I like that a lot. Wow. What is this? Who's this guy? What the hell are you? What are you? Letter from the front. This is its own free roaming aspect. I like it. Well, I guess to symbolize something, let's get this viewpoint here. That is awesome. I'm really glad they included this. Huh, I thought it was just gonna be a set of memories like the uh the rift missions were in Unity. Oh wow. I'd like to know more backstory on her, though, because I really am interested if she's either Jacob's descendant or Evie's descendant. I guess they could be both, but, like, which one is their uh, unconquered World War One? That's going to take a few years. Like, I, I really want to know who is their father? Grandfather? Or grandmother? Maybe? Either way, this is awesome. Um, that was the wrong button to ever press. <laughs> um, oh, wow. Oh, portal to 1868. Oh, so that's how I get back. Well. Well, guys, I hope you did enjoy this, because this is just ordering maybe 35 minutes I can just put this in one video um hope you guys did enjoy this this was really interesting to find and I really am glad that I did wow I'm not gonna probably make any more videos of Assassin's Creed Syndicate uh, just the the first try episode and this this was really interesting um, I just figured I'd share the first experience with you But I guess I could give like a little update on how Unity is treating me. I'm enjoying the hell out of Unity. Not, not Unity. Why do I keep saying that? Syndicate. Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I'm really loving Syndicate. Is it shaping up to be a little bit better than Unity? Yeah. I mean, it's more polished. That's never a bad thing. I guess you could say... uh Unity was, well, uh, as anyone can say, um, it wasn't finished when it should have been. So, 
so that's probably why it had such big glitches. But then again, whenever I played it, I didn't have any glitches at all. Maybe one or two. That always comes with Assassin's Creed games. Always, no matter what. Yeah, here. But no, this is just a more polished Unity. I mean, uses the same engine, the same uh, free running. I think this is like the third iteration of uh, how the characters free run. Uh, don't quote me, because I may have played all of them, but I don't really recall off the top of my head um, what iteration it could be. Because I know uh, one, two, Brotherhood and Revelations all shared the same climbing engine. And I was going to say like that because it, it's the, the, the style of the free running. Um, and then 3 brought its new one, which I really enjoyed. I enjoy this one a lot too, but I don't know. I'm one of those very few people that really did like Assassin's Creed 3. Because one of my favorite time periods ever is the... Uh, colonial times at Revolutionary War such things like that and then Black Flag was a hell of a game but I feel like 3 was the one that let you really go anywhere because you had the frontier and you could climb on all the rocks anything you could probably find you could most likely climb on but and then they use that same one from 3 for Black Flag and Rogue. And then for Unity and Syndicate, they brought this one in. Which, don't get me wrong, isn't bad. It's just in its third iteration. But so far, I really am enjoying Syndicate. Just coming back to that piece of the conversation I was trying to make. Um... The combat I am enjoying very much. It, it really does remind me of... Uh, I don't want to say what it really reminds me of. Just really good and tight fighting controls. Very similar to how... Uh, 3, Rogue, and Black Flag handled when it came to fighting. Like Once you hit the button, you, you did exactly what the button did. With... Unity, there was, I will be honest, there was either like some type of delay or it would not cancel out your animation. So you had to finish your animation before you could counter. So you really had to pick and choose on how to do it, which is really a strategy, I guess, when it comes to fencing as well. Which is what I think they base that on. And this game is beautiful. Both this game and Unity were beautiful. So, so were all of them. All of them have really good visuals but they just keep getting better every year do I think it's a cash cow kind of series right now no not at all I mean the fans want the games and Ubisoft is happy to deliver but I think that just about does it for me today guys I really hope you did enjoy this World War one world World War One memory of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. We got to meet Lydia Fry. I am probably gonna at least try and look more into it. Maybe. Lydia. Nope. Other people? What the hell? What? Not funny, universe. Not funny at all. Jeez, what did you find in there? Sean's been locked in his room for hours. I can't find the whiskey, and I'm pretty sure I hear crying. It's a... <laughs> it's a fucking corgi named Desmond. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Look how fucking happy it is. <laughs> Oh shit. 
Um, maybe this will help me. World War One. There we go. Um, nineteen. Uh, nineteenth of March, eighteen ninety-three. Born into relative comfort. Jacob's granddaughter. That's that's who her grand sibling is. Wow. That's awesome. Okay. What I've been trying to say... Desmond. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny to me. <laughs> well, also, the, uh, the text I was accompanying it. What the hell? <laughs> I can't find the whiskey, and I think I hear crying. <laughs> oh, that that kind of hits you where where it hurts, I guess. Anyways, I do hope you guys did enjoy this. Uh, I don't know what I would call this. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I could call it. I'll probably figure out something. Um. It's not a walkthrough part in any means. I don't think it would be a first tries episode either. Um, I guess while I'm speaking, I'll, I'll get this viewpoint. Huh. I don't know. I don't know at all. Anyway, let's grab this on here. It's two of three, I believe. Anyways, I do hope you guys did enjoy this first little run through of the first mission of the World War One Assassin's Creed Syndicate missions. I really am glad that I found this because this is actually a cool little thing. And I am so damn happy it's not DLC because that would be absolutely stupid. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this. I uh, hope you guys do also have a great uh, week or morning or even night. And I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.